Did you know AutoCAD has a whole set of tools that are designed to save you time and they're hidden within the ribbon? Let's check them out in today's video where I'm sharing six of my favorite Express tools. Express tools in AutoCAD are there to help you clean up drawings, fix annoying issues, and make things easier and faster to get done in AutoCAD. These tools have been added over the years and gradually become their own ribbon panel up on the top of our drawing interface. You can access these by simply going to the Express Tools tab. If you don't have them, you can add them or upgrade to the newest version, which will include them. It's a free set of tools directly built within AutoCAD. In today's video, we're taking a look at six of my favorites. All right, so first up is the burst command. Uh, and I've talked about this one a few times on the channel, but in case you don't know it or you need a refresher, the burst command is basically going to explode a block without wrecking the attributes. It's going to retain any of the values within the attributes of your block. Now, many of us will be using blocks for things like room tags or measurements or uh, if you're in civil, maybe like monitoring or boreholes or manhole tags. There can be a hundred different reasons why you're using tags, section tags, detail tags, anything that you've made a block with an, a dynamic attribute. So if you can double click on something and give it a value, if you explode one of these, and there's a lot of reasons why you might need to, it's going to reset the value of the text or object within it. But if you use the burst command, it's going to do the same thing as the explode, but it's going to retain the value of the text. So now you've got a piece of text with the value that was the attribute. This can come in super handy for a lot of different reasons. And this little command is kind of hidden in the express tools. Or if you know it, you know that the burst command is the shortcut to do that. In my opinion, this may or may not come up often depending on the type of work you do.